Hey, everybody, and welcome to another segment of AstrologyAnswers.com's weekly forecast. My name is Terrence Gardino. The week begins on Monday, February the 20th, with a new moon. It officially started on Sunday, right after 11 p.m. Pacific time, but for the rest of the country going into Europe, Monday is the official day of the new moon in Pisces. Now, what this means is every four weeks, there's a new moon, and it draws our attention or our priorities to where that new moon is impacting your chart. Now, also on Monday, Venus, the planet of relationships, diplomacy, creativity, Venus has changing signs. Now, for the last several weeks, it was in Pisces. Venus in Pisces is very romantic, very creative energies. But as of Monday, February the 20th, Venus, once a year, is entering into Aries, fiery, independent, courageous Aries. Venus in Aries loves to loves the chase, loves um, the excitement of pursuing a relationship or starting a whole new creative project where when the Venus was in Pisces, there's more of this energy to want to just lose yourself in romantic love, lose yourself in the fantasy of the imagination, but you're going to see a big shift. Venus is very social, so you might be a lot more active socially. Now that Venus will only be in Aries for the next several weeks. Now, on Tuesday, the 21st, the moon continues in Pisces, um, and it's going to align with Neptune around noon, early afternoon, Pacific time. Neptune is the planet that is associated with the Pisces, and the moon is in Pisces. So that moon, that emotional tone um, in Pisces, aligning with Neptune, is very empathetic charitable energies. It can also be really inspiring and very creative, but you might find yourself tapping more into your intuition. Along with Mercury, the planet of information, communications, what you're thinking, what you're planning, Mercury, it will be in a 90 degree angle called a square of internal pressure to unpredictable Uranus, but also Uranus is very innovative and progressive. So this Tuesday, um, with Mercury to Uranus, you may also be feeling really anxious and restless. Um, and when it comes to conversations, communications, or trying to make decisions, that Uranus but keeps bringing in a lot of unstable energies. But it can be good for really starting to think about the future, even though you may also be feeling a bit anxious. Now, this is impacting you throughout Tuesday. Then we go into Wednesday as communication Mercury is moving away from that unstable, unpredictable Uranus. And then starts to be in harmony, called a trine, to assertive Mars. Mercury in, in harmony with Mars is quick thinking, strategic thinking. Um, now, Mars is also a, the athlete. It's very physical energies. Mercury can be very agile, um, very flexible. So this is really a good day for athletes, for act exercising, but we can take it to for the you know the average person who's not an athlete. This could be really inspiring to um, for dance. Um, yeah, so there's all that movement and physical activity, and the moon has moved into fiery, independent 
Aries and will align with expansive, optimistic Jupiter by mid-afternoon Pacific time. So once a month when the moon aligns with Jupiter, the general public reaction is more upbeat, more optimistic, and all things Jupiter will be more open. Education, teaching, marketing, especially traveling. And with Mercury, decision Mercury, excellent with Mars, a lot of you will be feeling really optimistic about um, making a really uh, um, assertive, courageous, uh, decisions. Thursday, the moon continues in fiery independent Aries, but there's no other astrological events. So this Thursday, the whole day, it's more like the, the, the pathways are smooth and this is really favorable um, for just uh, initiating new projects, taking the lead, um, a lot of motivation. These are all the, the supportive energies of Aries. On Friday, the moon now enters into Taurus. When the moon was in Aries, Wednesday, Thursday, um, there's more of this fired up, inspiring, uh, courageous energies that impacts the public. Then for the weekend, starting on Friday with the moon in Taurus, Taurus is an earth sign. Well, Aries is a fire sign. And so the emotional tone is more about being more sensible, more grounded, more practical. And that moon in Taurus will be in harmony with the sun in Pisces. Pisces is a water sign. Taurus is an earth sign, and they're very compatible energies. So there's nothing else going on other than the moon's in harmony with the sun. So overall, emotionally, um, socially, can be a comfortable day. On Saturday, the moon continues in Taurus. Taurus loves routine. Uh, Taurus um, doesn't like a lot of change. It just wants to stay the course. But the Mercury, I mean, the moon will be in a hard angle called a square to communication Mercury around 4 to 6 p.m. Pacific time. So the moon are these emotional reactions. In Taurus can even be a bit stubborn um, or persevering, but it's in tension with communication Mercury. So having meetings, discussions, making plans, you might be feeling this anxiousness and it can trigger um misinformation, miscommunications in that late afternoon Pacific time. But it's only an hour or two that energy will pass. As we go into Sunday, now early Sunday, the moon continues in Taurus. 7.48 a.m. Pacific time, it goes into Gemini. But right before it goes into Gemini, from about 6 to that 7.48 a.m., 6 a.m. Pacific time, the moon in Taurus will be stressed out by worrisome Saturn and compulsive Pluto. So that early Sunday um, might be feeling emotionally intense. But then things really change very quickly as the moon that sets the public tone and reaction leaves that kind of uh, stubborn, determined Taurus energy and goes into playful, witty, conversational Gemini, as I said, 7.48 a.m. Pacific time. Nothing else is going on with other planets for the rest of the day. So with the moon in Gemini, there's a lot of running meetings, um, correspondence, a lot of restlessness, um, excellent for 
um, connecting with friends and family and doing, you know, and just lots of conversations. So I want to thank you for tuning in. I hope to see you next week with my next segment. Until then, be safe and well.